Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very simple bag on a sewing machine. So the bag I'm going to make today is this one. It's made out of wax canvas. It's got some red paracord and a toggle just to keep it closed when I got stuff in it. Uh, it's a really simple project. I think you'll enjoy it. Stay tuned, let's see how we get on. So this is the wax canvas fabric that I'm going to use. We've got about 11 and a half inches in width and 17 inches in length. And what I've done is cut out the corners by an inch. So an inch down, an inch across, and just mark that, chop these corners off here. That's gonna form the tunnel where the cord is gonna run through the bag. So we'll get on to making that next. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the hem for the uh, part where the cord will run through. This is really simple, just I've taped that inch fold back and fold it back once and then fold it back again over that. See what this does is tucks the frayed ends of the fabric out of sight inside. So it looks a bit like this. And then I'm going to run a stitch down this side just to hold it all in place. Like so. I don't need to put a back stitch on it this side because when the other sides fold over, those stitches will be inside and out of sight. So we're going to do the same on the other side. So, here we are, that's the hemmed edges of the peg bag. So part of the reason for doing this is that when you put the cord through, obviously you're gonna be pulling on here and that's gonna wear. So having a rolled hem will really make it a lot stronger uh, and prevent it from fraying along the edge. So you've got the rein extra reinforcement in this part of the, of the material by having this rolled hem. But what we're going to do is roll this over again and then when we fold it down like that you won't actually uh, need an extra hem inside. So we're going to fold this all the way along now and make that part uh, the next part of the bag. So just use a fingernail just to hold the fabric, crease the fabric. You can measure this if you want or you can do it by eye. Um, and this is just a spare piece of canvas so it's not cut amazingly square at the moment. I could take some time to, to true it up, but um, we'll sort it out as we go along making it. What I will do is sort out the thickness of the, uh, the tunnel here. So it's about one and a half centimeters. pins just to hold that in place. So that's our, uh, the tunnel that the cord's going to run through in the bag all made. That's sort of roughly the same. I think it might need to cut aside. 
So I'm just going to sort that out quickly. It's about one and a half centimetres. Yeah. So you see there's a slight difference between the way they're lining up, which tells me it's not completely square. But I think you can with that, it's only a peg bag. This time, however, I'm going to put in a back stitch as well on this point. So I'm going to stitch over. So I'm going to do something a little different to probably what you've seen other people do. I'm going to do what's called French steam. So I am going to align the two sides of my bag. So this is the outside of the bag as I want it and I'm putting the two sides together. What I'm then going to do is stitch down this edge here as close as I can to it. Then what I'm going to then do is fold the bag inside out so that this part is effectively rolled back on itself and then stitched down hiding all the material inside what gives you is a very nice closed up finish and it hides all these frayed ends you'll see what i mean uh, shortly when i've actually stitched it all together um, but i'll probably put a few um, pins in as well just to kind of keep everything in place and stop it moving around because i want these parts to line up so let's get this lined up and a few pins just to hold it all in place. And you need a couple just to stop it moving around as I stitch it. And also crease down the other side should hold this thing together. So that's the start of the seam. You can see this side pinned together quite nicely like this. Then when I stitch, fold it inside and complete the seam, that will all be in one hidden away. So now I'm just fold the bag inside out. Like so. And this is where sometimes it's easy to make a mistake because you've got to actually stitch a lot further inside than you perhaps think to get the whole of that seam hidden. So we'll just square that up, flatten it off with a, again with a nail. And I'm going to need to come in a fair way. So I found from experience that doing it more than you, you think you need is the best way uh, and also uh, put those stop those back stitches in as well so in my case I'm going to come out on my sewing needle to sewing machine to about this mark here and I'll use that as my guide So that's what it looks like on this side. When you turn it over, however, turn it back the right way. You've got, other than a few threads that we can snip out, a nice join. 
And the beauty of this is that this, this join in here as well is not going to rub. So it's a really nice join. Okay, just tidy a few of those loose fibers up. And we're going to repeat that on the bottom of the bag as well. As you can see, we've already got the tube. This is where our this is where our cord is going to come through, and we use that to tie this bag shut. So I'm going to repeat that whole process on the bottom of the bag as well. There's one other step along that way that I'll show you. This is where the rule is handy, just to kind of flatten everything out. So as you can see, stitch through on the right side, turn the bag all the way inside out. And in this case, also use your ruler to push down into these corners and get a very sharp uh, edge. So this is just the final stitch now, just to put that French seam on. Uh, we're gonna stitch along the inside of the bag I'll put that in and do that now. Again, you can use the same mark that I used for my last stitch, which is just one small mark out from the end. So that's my bag made. That's a simple wax canvas bag. Uh, we're gonna put some cord through here. Best way to do that is some power, if you're using something like paracord, to just put that a safety pin on the end feed it through, you can move the safety pin quite easily through. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but there you go, as you see, this nice French seam here just keeps everything looking really tidy and also holds uh, all of the freight, potential freight ends on the inside. So this is the bag finished really. Uh, it's all, all there, it's a good size. Last bit we've got to do is just thread through uh, the paracord. I'm going to use a nice red paracord today. So, so I'm just going to melt the end of the paracord now just to make a bit of a smoother joint and what I'm going to do is use a safety pin and this is a really good way of threading things through. Just poke the safety pin onto the paracord. It's not too tough. So, and then I can feed the safety pin into the tunnel that I've made. There's probably some technical sewing term for this, but I don't know what it is. And if you just hold it, put it through, you can see that the power cord begins to work its way through. So I threaded the power cord through the bag. It's probably a little long, so I'm going to shorten that up. Uh, once there's a knot tied in the end of it, it's gonna be about the right sort of length. So I'm just gonna trim this off with a pair of very sharp scissors and seal up the ends of the power cord again. So I've left these ends a bit pointed uh, because I've got these little clips. Um, I'm gonna use one of these and it just makes it a bit easier to thread them through. 
So give that a squeeze. One through. Give them a little twist sometimes helps. Even those up. So not at the end. That's our threaded bag. Pull it tight, lock it off, like so. And that is our finished peg bag. Hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. If you like what you've seen, please give us some comments. Let us know what you've enjoyed, what you'd like to see. We've got more trips coming up as well as more in this make it theme where we're making things that we'll take and use on our next camping trips. So I've got some pegs, I've got my peg bag, that's another project complete, ready for my next trip out into the woods. Stay tuned, see you all soon.